On this week's episode of Caught, presented by Catfished, we're going to be discussing the Dexter copycat killer. The year is 2008. In Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, Mark Andrew Twitchell, an aspiring filmmaker, logs onto a popular dating website known as PlentyOfFish.com under the username of Spiderwebs. Unlike most on Plenty of Fish, Mark isn't looking for love, he's looking for prey. In the fall of 2008, Mark lured in a computer company contractor named Giles Tetral. Giles was under the impression that he was visiting a woman in Edmonton named Sheena. Sheena gave him explicit instructions to enter through the garage. When Giles arrived, he expected to meet a beautiful woman, but to his surprise, it was Mark in a hockey mask wielding a shock baton. Mark was able to shock Giles a couple times, but Giles ended up getting away, calling out to some neighbors passing by. Mark tried to keep his prey by stating that they were just friends. Come on, Frank, let's go back to the garage. The interaction scared the neighbors away, but luckily, Mark was able to escape to his truck and drive off. Exactly seven days later, Mark logs back on to PlentyOfFish.com to lure in another victim. This time, an oil field equipment manufacturer by the name of John Brian Altinger, or Johnny for short. Johnny goes missing and his friends become concerned about his disappearance. They also receive multiple mysterious emails from Johnny stating that he was going to Costa Rica with the woman he had just met. This wasn't in Johnny's nature and his friends decide to investigate his condo by breaking in. To their surprise, his passport is still there and no clothes were taken for the trip. They go to the police and soon after, a homicide investigation was launched. On October 31st, 2008, Mark was finally arrested and received a first degree murder charge the same day. The key evidence used in the trial was a document entitled SK Confessions or Serial Killer Confessions. The document depicted horrific acts that Mark did to Johnny. His actions were heavily inspired by the TV show character Dexter Morgan, a police bloodstain analyst by day and a serial killer by night. Fast forward to June 17, 2011. Mark receives an attempted murder charge for his first altercation with Giles Tetrault. And so concludes the story of the Dexter copycat killer. If you want to hear more stories like this, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Also, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when another episode of Caught presented by Catfish goes live.